So hi everyone, my name is Remy Furet. It's a pleasure to be here, part of this big conference uh, today, and to get the opportunity to share uh, my research on the an illusion of unfairness about random negative outcomes in a collaboration with Tim Wilson and Ben Gilbert. So people often resort to using random processes for the purpose of distributing benefits and burdens amongst themselves in a fair manner. For example, in 403 BC, Athenians used an elaborate sortition process to randomly allocate political positions of power amongst themselves. Since then, we've not made much technological progress, but we still employ random processes like coin flips. Uh, in the 2016 presidential primaries, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders were tied in several Iowa precincts, and the winner was determined for a series of coin flips. So to this day, why do we still employ randomness to distribute outcomes amongst ourselves? Well, simply because random processes uh, are a convenient way to remove any form of personal control over the outcome, which is appealing to our sense of fairness as it provides equal opportunity. However, I'll argue that in removing control, random distributive processes are at odds with our need to attribute causal responsibility for the outcomes we receive. As humans who value a sense of control over our lives, we struggle with the notion that our fate is often determined by random events, in part because when negative outcomes befall us, we seek to understand their underlying cause by identifying who's responsible for them. But when bad events happen randomly, we're basically robbed from a satisfying explanation and the ability to ascribe moral responsibility onto someone. So we're faced with a dilemma. Random processes provide equal opportunity, but people want to ascribe responsibility. This leads us to the main research question, what happens to people's judgments of fairness and responsibility when they randomly receive an undesirable outcome? To answer this question, we designed a paradigm where two participants are randomly assigned to receive either a negative outcome, like having to put their hand in a bucket of ice water for every incorrect answer on the test, or a positive outcome, like receiving a snack for every correct answer. The experimenter randomly selects one of the two participants to call heads or tails and flip the coin. The resulting outcome assigns one participant to the reward condition and the other to the punishment condition. Following the coin flip, we ask participants to fill out a baseline questionnaire, which we tell them will allow us to control for the effects of their current emotional state on their test performance. But in reality, they're actually filling out our outcome variables and that's the end of the study. So in these studies, we're only focusing on participants who received the negative outcome. Uh, and whether they flip the coin or not. So we find that the one who did not flip the coin falls prey to what we call an illusion of unfairness by responding more negatively to the distributive process in comparison to the participant who flipped the coin. Um, so here are the results of a random effect meta-analysis we conducted across 10 studies using variations in this coin flip paradigm I just described. Um, and the dependent variables can be categorized into two parts. The first is this basic illusion of unfairness effect where participants report finding the process and outcome less fair when they didn't flip the coin. Uh, they found themselves less responsible and the other participant more responsible for the outcome. And they found themselves and the other participant less deserving of their respective outcomes when they didn't flip. We also find that um, this illusion of unfairness has negative affective consequences. So when participants didn't get to flip the coin, they felt less pleased with their outcome, as well as the other participants. They felt less positive affect, and they liked the other person less compared to when they got to flip the coin. So in conclusion, people are so attuned to maintaining control over their fate that under conditions of high uncertainty and low control, in this case due to the random coin flip process, they ascribe responsibility where none is objectively present and therefore mistakenly assume a lack of fairness over an equally fair process. This illusion of unfairness then leads people to feel worse and even dislike the person who they blame for their random negative outcome. So overall, when we find that people end up blaming one another for the outcome of a random point flip, it's easy to imagine how likely we are to overly ascribe responsibility in situations where we have partial evidence at best to justify it. Perhaps if at all possible for the sake of our social relations, we would be better off acknowledging that randomness plays a larger role in determining aspects of our lives than we would often like to admit to. So that's it. Thank you for your time and to take any questions.